Incarnation Cross. This is about your life purpose. And life purpose is a pretty big concept. What it's really saying is that this life, the life you're in right now, the incarnation that you're experiencing, has a reason to be here. That there's actually something that you're here to do. And that the Incarnation Cross gives you hints about what that is. Ra was here to bring in human design. He was here to be the messenger of human design, and he fulfilled his purpose. But as soon as we talk about purpose, it gets into all sorts of philosophical waters about how to fulfill the purpose and about what it means to fulfill the purpose. And there's a sort of prevailing nihilistic, relativistic, philosophical belief that whatever you do, that ends up having been your purpose. So if Ra ended up just smoking pot and playing guitar and never actually bringing human design into the world, then that would have been his purpose and he would have fulfilled that purpose. That's not what we're talking about here. Yes, Ra was great at guitar, and yes, he did smoke a lot of, I guess, hashish with tobacco, but that, and that may have been part of his purpose, right? That may have helped support his purpose, but when I say that your incarnation cross shows your purpose, I mean something very specific. I mean it shows the actual reason you're here and what you're actually here to do, and that when you actually make decisions correctly as yourself, you get to see how that plays out. So we get hints. We get Ra's beautiful poetic keynoting of the crosses. We get the context of where the crosses are in a larger kind of whole, which is the wheel and the, the rest of the crosses. There's 768 unique combinations of profile and cross. But that's all to say that, you know, we can get hints at it, but you don't really know what your purpose is until you live it. And when you live it, you're no longer chasing it, it's chasing you. It's actually grabbed you, it's caught you, and you can't get away. And so when we're looking at Incarnation Cross, this is something that emerges over seven years through the deconditioning process. And then after seven years, having been in the experiment, this is what has really taken over your life. And it becomes like a boulder rolling down the hill. You can't stop it.